Hey everyone, it's Rahana, and we're playing more of Gakko in Heaven 2. We just finished up the ball tournament, so there's a little bit more resolution and then one of the most uh, famous scenes in BL games, but we'll get to that in a minute. <sighs> This is after the tournament has wrapped up and everybody's walking back to the dorm. Yuki's tired. I'm glad it turned out well. Looks like everyone had fun. There was a really good uh, tournament. There's a much better than other years. It's fun. Well, it was fun. Sigh. Good job, Joker. But I lost in the first round, so I didn't really get a chance to do my best. And you'll get to see that when you play on Joker's team, exactly why he lost. It's kind of funny. Well, it can't be helped because you didn't have enough people. No matter what you say, a loss is a loss. But I had fun. But I had fun. But we were in a lot of matches and were really exhausted, so it was disappointing to lose to Kuya's team at the very end. Well, that's too bad. But contests are harsh. I wouldn't want anyone to hold back in a contest. Yeah, if you do, it's not fun. I think so too. <laughs> the most interesting thing is when you can crush your serious opponent. <laughs> what is best in life, Joker? Well, it's, it's kind of harsh and sad to lose when you're doing your best, but... Uh, the Gourmand Cup was so fun! It was, it was fun and exciting, but that's not all. Instead of doing a chore, I got to do a proper job. Well, this year was fun thanks to your exciting prize idea. Really? Because of that prize, everybody went all out. It was a very ace-like job for your first work. I'm really glad it was a huge success. Kuya is making a note here. Huge success. I'm gonna stop making dumb references any minute now, I swear. So Yuki's happy because everyone worked together on the preparation and also participating in the tournament. Even though there is someone who's going to have a hard time from now on. Well, the two groups that were opposed now were kind of come together a bit. And I want everyone to be friendlier. And I want all those oppositions to disappear as if they were something ridiculous. So... Student Council in Duroc? Getting closer? Maybe. Oh, we got back pretty late. It's because you two were dawdling. But the cats are hungry, it couldn't be helped. I don't know if this has been mentioned yet, um, but there's a bunch of cats at the school, and they're actually all descendants of Tonosama, who was Professor Umino's cat in the first Gakko in Heaven. Uh, Professor Umino is actually still a teacher at the school. He's just, um, I think he's either taking a trip or he's on sabbatical right now, and he'll be back within the next year or so. I don't even remember where that's mentioned. 
But um, he's the biology professor. He has a giant crazy cat named Tonosama. And uh, apparently Tonosama got busy a while back and now there's a bunch of cats all over the school. So about the cats, you know, nobody had time to feed them today, so they got hungry. Kuya likes to take care of the cats. Kuya is like the world's most beautiful cat lady. There's, um, if you go see him on that day where you can go visit someone on Sunday, you'll see him taking a nap with a bunch of cats. It's really adorable. But... Because the tournament was a success, you should be happy, not complaining. Alright, alright. But the cats were so cute and they ate a lot. Tomo! Oh, it's Tomo! What are you doing here so late? Hmm? Oh, I'm just going to bed for the last time I was in the room. Well, I was tired, so I took a nap in my room first. Tension, you're high, you. You're really, uh, like unenthusiastic, tired. I'm really tired today. Taking a bath is so annoying. Yes. In case you have not guessed from the location that we are in now, we are going to have the obligatory bath scene. Though, in this case, they don't actually get in the bath, but. It's the bath scene anyway, because we are in the bath area. You know what that means, right? But if you wash away the sweat, you'll feel all refreshed. I know. Well, if that's so annoying, we can help you. With the bath? Yeah, the three of us can strip you and toss you into the bathtub. Let's do it. I'm fine. I can take off my clothes myself. Oh, that's too bad. Alright, then, Masatsu, how about you? I'm fine, thanks. Stop saying dumb things and hurry up and get in. Hi. I'm gonna hurry up and take a shower. Yes, let's take a look at this scrawny little dork. Here's Yuki in his. Well, he's still got his bottoms on from his. Uh, I guess it's like his tracksuit? I don't know what you would call that, but they, they all have their kind of athletic uniform for the school. And yes, because this is a 15 and up game, nobody has nipples. Just. Let me know that right now. Yes, there are fine, nippleless boys in this game. Just deal with it. <laughs> and here's everyone, and Yuki is blushing. What's up with that? Hello, boys. I'll just I'll just give you a moment to appreciate this. Is anyone wearing underwear? I don't really know. Do we really care? No. All right. <laughs> Everyone's really. What is it? Yeah. I was just thinking, you're all really fit. Like, Tomo's in the track club, but he's a ghost member. And Kuya does fencing. But I've never seen him do it. How does everyone train? I'm gonna ask someone. Alright, so we get a choice to ask any one of these these fine young men you know what they do to have such a nice physique, but we are going to ask Tomo. So Tomo, you're in the track club. Oh, yeah, that's alright. But you're a ghost member, I've never seen you practice. Hold on, let's take a look at Tomo. I can also appreciate Takato's nice, uh, nice hip over there, kind of in the background. So, uh, how are you? How are you so uh, muscular? Because normally all you do is sleep. normally all you do is sleep. Because normally all you do is sleep. Could it be that you train in secret in your room? Masaka. Are you kidding? But you don't get muscles from sleeping. And if you don't do any training, 
Ah, uh, this is a great line from Tomo. Sleeping takes strength too. So yes, Tomo is basically trying to tell you that he is muscular because he sleeps a lot. Mm. If you sleep like me, you'll get muscular too. That's a lie. Sleeping, getting muscular. That's the first I've heard of that. Yuki, don't stare at me like that. But I'm kind of interested. I wish I had abs like that too. Really, Yuki? Are you one of those people? そっち系? One of those? Macho shumi. You're like into macho stuff? Yeah. Or no, rather than just muscles. Could you be into men's bodies? No! Well, you just didn't seem very athletic. I didn't have any sort of weird meaning or anything. So yeah, he, he doesn't seem... The athletic... Type he would have guessed he would have been in one of the culture type clubs, you know, like the music, the art appreciation, those sorts of things. So I'm just really surprised that you have muscles. Well, I mean, Yuki, everyone's got muscles, right? Yeah, I know what he's talking about, but it's just kind of funny that he he'll just fixate on this and <sighs> there's there's no weird meaning to it. He says, and you know, I mean, honestly, there isn't. But maybe there kind of is. Like, he's... He doesn't even know why he's asking. Uh, culture, huh? Hey, Yuki, I think dividing people up into different types is wrong. People who play sports aren't all hot, you know? It's well, then what do you want to be? I don't want to stand out. Huh? Not standing out, being plain, having a peaceful life, not making waves. If I can be normal, that's the best. So Tomo, once again, is talking about being normal. I mean, from what you've seen with him so far, he doesn't seem to be very different from normal, except that he sleeps a lot. There's obviously something that he's not revealing here. Well, if that's the case, then you should uh you should be like Ninosuke. Hattori san? Uh, it's Hattori, the previous ace. And this conversation actually does not show up the first time through the game. I actually saw it myself for the first time just the other day when I was going over this scene to make sure I was ready to, to record it. So I'm not sure what the trigger is to unlock this scene where they talk a little bit about Ninosuke's background. But it's it's interesting, I'm not going to skip it because it's very brief and it doesn't really spoil anything. It's just a little additional information about his character. So the former ace. And he's been hiding the whole time, but that outfit. If you wore that, you'd really stand out. Ninosuke was the first and here's, here's a little shocker. Um, Ninosuke got into the school because of his ninja ability. His ninja arts. In other words, he's a ninja. Ninja? Really? It's hard as it is to believe that it is true. And here's a little bit of history, which... Um... You know, his actual, actual Japanese history. Um, in the Edo period, the feudal lord of his clan worked as a ninja arts teacher, and so his lineage has a long and distinguished pedigree as ninjas. If you look up Hattori, you just do a Google search, check it out on Wikipedia, you can read about the actual Hattori family and their legacy as ninjas. So he is a direct descendant of 
that clan. Ninosuke mo osanai koro kara so itta shugyo o tsumi kasanete ita to ka. And since he was young, he's also trained as a ninja. Shugyo, kakui. That's so cool. Sugoi, dono kita ka ninja date. Tomo, did you hear that? He's a ninja. Oh, oh. Yeah. Da kara stealth 能力は抜群だ。So his stealth ability is amazing. <laughs> and that's why no matter how much we search for him, we can never find him. Hey Tomo, you should become his disciple. Oh, no thanks. I don't really want to become like him. I refuse. That's too bad. But if you do ninja training, you'll become even more muscular. That's like, it's fine. If, if you're that interested, why don't you become his disciple? Oh, ninja's disciple. But Yuki, I think you're even more amazing. Huh? Why? <laughs> this is kind of mean. It's like, even though you eat so much, you don't grow, you know, up or out. That's true. When I think of how, how much Yuki eats, it's mysterious that he can maintain his figure. Well, he does move around a lot. Yuki's a bit hyperactive. Well, you're really lucky, so maybe that's part of it. Oh, speaking of those abs, you may as well check them out while they're here. Nice. Well, that's too much. Do I really eat that much? Seriously, Yuki, you have to ask this question? Come on. Are you not aware? Yeah. Well, I but I never thought it was so much that it would be worth joking about. It. it is weird that you look like that since you eat so much. Is your stomach connected to somewhere else? Maybe we should have Oka Ken research it. That's a good idea. And then whatever he finds out, make sure he tells me. Me too, I'm actually really interested. Oh, no. No. Alright, after his bath, Yuki goes back to his room. Uh, bath felt good. And the gourmand cup ended well. Uh, no, it ended as a good success. <laughs> so he's extremely happy about doing a good job on his first real assignment as the student council president. You know, the matches, spectators were so exciting. And everyone had fun. <laughs> Gosh, that's a creepy laugh. <laughs> I can't help it, I'm grinning. Oh, I'm so happy I'm the ace, the student council president. I didn't know if I could do it, but, and I was a little worried. But I got advice from, from Kuya and Takato, and they, they really helped me. And even Joker cooperated with us. And Tomo helped hand out the flyers, everyone else participated. And thanks to that, we all accomplished it and had fun together. Merda. And now he's going to get a few emails. It's from everyone who is on his team. Right, pretty long, so I'm just gonna cut it off. Anyways, so. 
今の俺の絶望感を分かってくれるかい、oh my gosh, poor Sonata. Alright, so the different emails were, were from Tomo. He said, saying that,、um, you know, it was tiring, but I had fun. And group sports can be surprisingly nice every once in a while. Make sure you stretch well before bed so your muscles don't get sore. So, again, continuing with his kind of athlete's perspective there, telling you to take care of yourself.、Uh, Yagami was saying,、uh, make sure you plan this event next year, too, because I'll participate. You know, next year we'll win. And Sonoda, his, his email was titled, This is the Worst Situation. Can you understand my despair? If you feel any sympathy for me, it'll be a help if you don't order any Chinese food for a while. So he's gonna be sick of Chinese food. Poor Sonoda. Alright. And I hope next year I can participate with this team again. And then next year we'll, we'll definitely get the、uh, all you can eat yakiniku. Yoshi! And it's time for bed, so that's the end of the scene here, and we'll continue、uh, with the next day. And from now on, he's going to do his best as student council president. Actually, I'm going to do the very next one because it's extremely short.、Um, this is kind of a throwaway day that's put in here. It's extremely brief, and it's. <sighs> Really, only in there, in there for the purposes of、uh, allowing you to make a choice for one character's route. So, you know, it's kind of odd with this game. They did a really good job of kind of integrating everything very nicely, but this choice kind of sticks out because it's on a day where you literally cannot do anything else. And if you choose not to talk to that character, then nothing else happens. Anyway, Yuki's saying, you know, he's tired, you know, rested a lot today, but still tired from the ball tournament. なんか喉乾いたな。Kind of Yagami だ。Yagami. And your choices are to talk to him and not, or not talk to him. Since we're not pursuing him, we're not gonna talk to him. まあいいか。No、炭酸でも買ってこよう。I'm just gonna go buy a drink. And that's it. Actually, I'm gonna stop here.